okay today i'm going to be cutting some okra because i want to as spinach as my okra so i've washed it before now this is the second wash Right. So now, this is how I cut my okra. That is another bowl. Let me just show you. I'm just only going to show you part of it. I cut this tip part and the bottom bits and put them away. So before I grind it, I always try to chop it first. So I slit it down crosswise and then I cut it like this. So I have a lot in the bowl. And I'm going to be doing it like this and cut it slowly. Well, this is just um, this is what it looks like when it's cut, and this is how I'm going to do all of the okra in the bowl because there's a lot of them you know, a lot of them i'm going to do it like this and until it fills this bowl and then i will use my either my hand blender or my food processor which one i feel easier for me to do so this is it, how to uh, prepare your okra for, we say okra in Creole, okra, maybe in English, and um, I'll be cooking it with spinach, with some chicken, and I don't like red beef, I don't like red beef. So chicken, you know, is good and use some, um, you can use palm oil or you can cook it white and we have this bene seed that they make and we call it ogri, use ogri and pepper and that's how we prepare it. Okay, till next time. I love you all. Try to see if you can cook. Okra is very good. They said it's good for diabetes. But the way you use it, if you have diabetes, they said you have to cu cut it. You, you cut it and soak it in a glass of water overnight and drink it in the morning. The slimy bit is the thing that they say do, does the uh, magic. But um, I don't know. Or I've never used it for that purpose, for medicinal purpose, but I use it for food. And that's the okra. Okay. I'm going to use. Okay, I love you all. And give you some little music before you go and dance. If you hear a whistling sound, that's my kettle <laughs> boiling because it's time for me to have some tea. That's my whistling kettle. I don't use electric kettle because it wastes a lot of um, electricity and also 
I won't hear when it boil. This one gives me a good sound. So I use my cooker. Ma, Jesus loves everybody. That's my spinach already washed. And that's my okra washed twice for the dust and for some chemicals to be removed. I want to just finish now and then get on with my business because I have some packages to send out for my oil and creams okay i love you god bless and keep you so enjoy and try to see if you can cook some okra at some time oh let me show you something that's it this is my palm oil and it's from sierra leone okay sierra leone yeah, I came from Sierra Leone, so I try to use our products, you know, because I know since I was growing up, our products are really good and we enjoy it. So this is what I'm going to use. Maybe, maybe after I finish cooking it, I don't know. I'm not trying. I don't think I want to cook it today because I'm feeling very lazy. But when I cook it, I will come back and tell you about my palm oil okra or my white okra. You can cook it without palm oil, you can cook it white and it's all good to go. Okay, love you baby, love you all my dear family and friends. Okay, bye bye.